Hello again, it's Priscilla Vatzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with two shovels and behind me a pre prime black 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I want to put two different selections of colors into my shovels. I'm going to start with Anita's White Metallic as a base. I'm going to try and remember the colors I like better, best together. In this case it's Frozen. And let's try some, uh-oh, it's Water Dragon. <laughs> and a little Northern Sky, I think. These are all Prism Pour colors from Color Art. There is a coupon code underneath. This is what's left of my African Violet, which I really want some more of. And a little tiny bit of blue velvet. Now let's try the other side. Let's go for some bonfire, which I may add more of. I had a spoon. Where's my spoon? Let's use the palette knife. This is some pink lady. Um, poinsettia, which is one of the new colors for the season if it's still December 2021. This is, oh I'm having a hard time remembering what that is. <laughs> pink Dahlia. I might have got those, this is Pink Lady, the, the other one was Pink Dahlia. <coughs> I'm going to cheat and use a little bit of Hot Orchid, which you can't get, but you might check out the pigment powders and look at and see if there is any jasmine. And I'm going to use Pink Diamond. I might want to put just a little bit of black, mead and black in there. I might want to put some mead and, I might want to put some Pink Diamond in the other. I do actually. I'm going to put some in here. So if I can't finish this, then there'll be part two. And I'm going to give myself a little claret in here also. Now I haven't tried to do a shovel pour. Yeah, I want one more color. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, yes, the Royal Sapphire. That'll do it. At least I hope so. I could put a little white in there. I definitely could. A little more white. Let's grab that canvas. Get those bottles out of the way. I didn't put any gold in anything, which is not a bad thing since I'm going to do it right now and I'm going to use some Egyptian coin. I could have pr probably put silver is a true silver, beautiful color for the season. I'm going to start at the bottom. And let this go down. I don't think anything else will because it's not thick enough. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough time to do what I want to do. Just going to improvise. I know that that will run right there. I don't think anything else will. I'm 
I am. It's palette knife. Yes, use the palette knife that's handy. And fill the shovel up again with whatever whatever's handy. A little more white metallic. A little more water dragon. A little more royal galaxy. A little more claret. A little more hot orchid. A little more pink diamond. A little more bonfire. And a little African violet. And I'm going to squeeze some mead and black right into the middle of that. Actually, I'm going to put some gold on top of it. That had to be different, huh? Like I said, this may be... a little different than anything else ever. But that's okay. Sometimes that is the best way to roll. Letting it relax until it hits the canvas, and then lifting the shovel. To leave a mark. Come on. Lift up. There we go. I like those marks. So, I want to do that again, only with a whole lot more that was the Royal Sapphire, and after that I've remembered to put in my white metallic. I'm inclined to just use up my African Violet, which I expected to do anyway. So I've put a healthy teaspoon of, healthy spoonful of that in there. Come on, off you come. And what? A little claret? Some more pink diamond? Yes, definitely. And back to bonfire again. I never put any yellow in there. I am going to put the bonfire and some of the blue velvet in. Ooh, that's a nice combination. Wow. I can't imagine getting this done in one go round. But you never know. Just gonna keep going until that runs out. And if I'm really patient, I can connect the dots. put some yellow in and then called to the other shovel and since my paint has relaxed and I can put some Aztec gold in I'm probably going to do that. Let's throw some more Anita's white metallic in there and I've got some what are they? <laughs> They're powders. 
pigment powders. I've got some mango tango. I've got a little bit of orange, which is something I want. And I'm going to use add a little poinsettia, which looks kind of odd. Hit it with hit it with a little hot orchid and definitely some pink diamond. And finish up with some Royal Galaxy. Oh look, that's the place to start. And I think I'm going to just take advantage of the moment. And let that drip right into that spot. I want to go the opposite way. <laughs> I really can't. That's not a bad mark though. I'm not unhappy with that. We're closing in. This may work. I can't tell yet. But I want some more yellow. I didn't have a lot, but I had some and it was, seemed like enough. I'm going to throw a little bit more of that orange. Everything, all my prism pores are mixed with vivid polypore. And that is poinsettia that I just snuck a little bit, snuck a little piece in there with. I'm going to rest my shovel for a second and grab whatever I've got in it that I can pull out with a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Throw a couple more marks in there. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Oddness never hurt anything. It's my opinion. I'm loving the pink diamond, so I think I'm going to give myself permission to just drop some of that in right in there. Grab a little more Galaxy, Royal Galaxy, and hit it with some blue velvet. Throw a little bit of Anita's white in there white metallic and a tiny tad of Meden and hit it one last time with some Egyptian coin. And I think if I go too much further I won't be a happy girl. I don't want to waste any of that. I am just helping my marks create the mark I want. I can steal a little paint too. And I've got a dribble. I kind of like that negative space at the top. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that because I, I like it, but I also want a mark there. Oh, that's an excellent choice for a mark if you must have one. Hopefully I didn't go too far. I do kind of want to blend that in though. Just a little blending. Oh, 
hoping it will magically look like it belongs there. So I have got a shovel full of residual and I have often dribbled. That doesn't sound good, does it? Kind of want to drop some blue over there. Maybe some claret instead. Just blend it in. Those are weird marks, but I think I can integrate them if I try for a minute. Did I set my timer? Yeah, it's going to go off in a second. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you check out some of my uh, 2300 videos. And if you can't find what you're looking for, feel free to ask me. If you are looking for more videos, you're in luck. You can find them on playlists, all playlists, created playlists, by going to my YouTube channel or asking me because I have them all organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I had paint and I wanted to use it. And I can because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under the link tree. Sure, I'm going to include the <coughs> excuse me the 20% off promo code right under the video, and if you look down further, you will find my paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe, and a whole bunch of other interesting things. And I actually really like this, which shouldn't surprise me, but sometimes it does. Little marks here and there don't seem to hurt. I could dot it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm really interested to see what it looks like. I could zoom in. I don't have any cells, but I wasn't trying for them. And if I took some Aussie Float Girl cell activator to things, I probably could. I got a few. Just nothing incredibly special. If I had put it down, if put the paint down and then tipped it, it would have been different. In any case, these are going to be gorgeous colors. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Don't forgive me to give. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that very much. If you wouldn't mind, it helps my channel. If you watch longer, watch the commercials and leave me a comment. By the way, thank you for the wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. Um, I can't thank you enough for that. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. If you're somebody who makes a donation to the studio, you know that you can get in the monthly drawing and see the exhibition video. See the, see the prizes for the exhibition video. See the prizes at the beginning of the exhibition video that's on the end screen included for everyone to see on this video and most recent videos. Yeah, I had the wrong color on my our tool spatula. I love you guys. Did I say take care of each other, take care of yourselves? Well, I mean to. Check out my link tree for my Amazon link. Thank you again for everything. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, under the video is spring clothing. Check it out. You can have something. If you can't find what you're looking for, just ask me and I'll try and add it. You let me know. Same thing with Legalerist. Same thing with Pixels.com and Fine Art America. And just know that I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I will try and zoom in. Whoa, that was the whole table. I gotta be careful how I place my ladder. This is pretty cool. I like it. All right. I love you guys. 